up guys, it is Lakecomp here, we are back with yet another Trove video on the channel and today we're going to be talking about something that's going to be really really important in Delves, which is none other than how you should build your light, because the more light you have, the more deeper you can go in Delves, right, and the more comfortable it will be for you to actually farm them. So at this point of time, it is pretty simple, right, the way light works is that Number one, you can get them from your crystal gear, you can get them from food, allies, you can get them from your cosmic gems as well. So we're gonna be talking about light as a whole, right? How do you actually get a ton of light in just, you know, to prepare for Delft, right? So as you know, the first thing you really have to get ready is a set of crystal gear, at least crystal two or crystal three, right? Because the difference between them is really, really significant. Now, I've got a crystal four staff, as you can see here, and it grants 1,600 light on the weapon, right? And it's just crazy, crazy, crazy how you can actually get so much light, right? So the higher level your crystal gear is, the more stars it has, the more you upgrade your crystal gear, the more light you're gonna have, right? That's basically just common sense, right? And you also have got the hats and also the crystalline visors, which as well gives you a ton of light. Well, you can actually find crystal level one as usual in Uber 8, right? As you can see, you head on over here, you can go into Uber 8, Geo top side. Crystal two can be found in Uber 9, Geo top side. And crystal three can be found in Uber 10, top side. But however, if you enter a Dell, Right, let's say you, you just come on over here and let's say you just place a delve down or something like that. And you know, you can actually get crystal one up till crystal three easier in delves. Well, you can actually find them anywhere. Basically, um, I don't exactly know where you can actually find crystal one to crystal threes, but you can only find crystal level four in depths of 115 in delves and higher. Right, so you really want to have to farm those challenge easy delves because they will start at about 110 and then after that, you're gonna have to basically just place it down somewhere, get a good group to farm with and you know, just try your best to get that crystal four gear, right? So let's move on onto the next part, right? As you can see in my inventory, we've got a ton of food, right? We've got the free range electrolytic crystals. And as you can see right there, it grants a total of 300 light and this is going to be really, really good to actually boost your light. Number one being, I mean, it's free 300 light from food. Who wouldn't actually want to get free light, right? And it's pretty easy to actually farm these because you can also get them from looting a couple banners. Yeah, look at this. The banner pull of the arcane whale will give you five, right? It will give you five for each of these and ten for a couple of others. And it'll... it'll it'll run out after every 20 minutes so one food will run out from the stack every 20 minutes but that's not gonna be that much of a difference right so because you're gonna be able to let's say you loot one banner and then you just equip it you'll actually be able to equip it for about an hour and 40 minutes before you have to get the next one or probably you just get a couple of banners at the same time you just loot them and just stack them just like i do and i have 1.9k which means i'll definitely never run out of them and have 300 extra light for eternity right so moving on as you can see we have got the puck ally for magic damage classes and we've got a couple of other allies as well just taking a look right here under delve section and um, you really want to pick the 50 mastery and the 50 geode mastery allies because you'll actually be able to get more light from the higher level ones right so you're gonna use the puck ally for 300 light as well as 20 percent more magic damage as i've mentioned in the earlier video if you haven't already checked it out this is in the link in the description below and we also have the jingles right the jingles for physical damage classes which also gives you 300 light so basically with the food and the ally you can already get 600 light you know just 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 by getting those and you know it's pretty simple 600 light is definitely a lot. Well, if you're 600 light lesser, you'll definitely deal a little bit less damage, not just a little bit, actually a lot less damage than you having 600 more light, right? So let's move on onto the next part, right? What can you actually do to get better light? So as you can see my gems here, I've got a Berserk Battler, which 
is not really that good of a gem just yet because it's at 2087 power rank but we'll increase the pr on this gem soon enough but anyways what i wanted to talk about this berserk battler was as you can see we've got 1144 light on this berserk battler alone the reason being as you head on over into the gem forge and as you click onto this you will see that we have got three pearls on our empower gem and this is what you really want on your cosmic gems because you'll actually be able to get more light right the more pearls on your light stat the more light you're gonna get the more pearls on your damage the more critical damage or your magic damage will happen right so you really really want to use the contained chaos flares which can be crafted in the adventurous crafting bench under these right you're gonna need two contained chaos sparks which will require three lunar souls and four binding darknesses multiplied by two it'll be six lunar souls and eight binding darknesses per contained chaos flare right so you actually be able to get 18 lunar souls from every week right if you have patron and 12 if you do not have patron so every single week you'll actually be able to get i guess two of these contained chaos flares or even even three not to mention gem day where you can actually get three or six lustrous boxes depending on whether you're a patron or not and you know you can actually reroll your stats to move it to light right but it's not really that simple right unless you're pretty lucky you'll actually be able to get this um three stats on your light right off the bat without any augmenting but the second thing i really want to talk about is once you've finished pearling all of these as you can see these numbers here signifies the zero percent is gonna start at 985 and once i fully augmented the stat it's gonna be sitting at 1249 which means i'm definitely missing out on 105 light on this gem as of right now which i will definitely have to work on as soon as possible right the same goes for this gem as you can see it's got 84 percent and i'm just missing about 31 okay i'm missing about 31 lights on this gem which you're gonna have to use as usual these Builders rough focuses, the builders precise focuses, and the builders superior focuses, right? So you really want to use the precise focus because number one, the rough focus doesn't give too much of um, a boost, right? Um, this precise focus, although it only requires 3,000 dust and an insignificant amount of flux and one single bound brilliant, you know, you can actually get three times the amount of augmenting than one builder's rough focus a builder's rough focus is going to give you one to two percent and i believe that this builder's precise one is able to give you about two to five percent it'll, it'll depend right i haven't actually went in depth about it but you know you really really have to augment your gems if you actually want to get more light right as you can see i've got 8295 lights and you know it was pretty hard to get here but the main thing I really wanted to talk about and the probably most or second most easiest way to actually get light is to max out your Geode level because you'll actually get 10 light. Yes, 10 light per Geode level. And that is really going to boost up your light because as you can see, once you hit Geode Mastery rank 100, you're going to receive a total of 1,000 light yes 1000 just by maxing out your geo right as you can see each mastery rank grants 10 light and 5 power rank not only do you get power rank but you also get light so you know why not grind geo i've been talking about this in tons of videos already we made countless amounts of videos where i talk about why you should actually grind geo it's not that bad of a game mode once you've got a bit higher once you've got that rocket boots and just look at this, you know, I've been I've been grinding Geode, I even maxed the Vakermatic as soon as it came out, right? Because it's just pretty fun to, you know, play around in Geode. Once you've got a decent level of, you know, modules, like you want to max some rocket boots and your gas and your Omni tool and stuff like that. And it's really going to help you out, right, with your light. Because 1000 of this light was actually from my geode mastery rank so moving on we're gonna move on to the next part where it's gonna be a little different right because since the update there has been a couple of changes to these banners but number one 
what is the best banner for light, right? You'll probably be asking, what is the best banner, right? For people who are just, you know, starting out the Delves and, you know, starting off Leviathans and stuff like that, the best one undoubtedly for you is going to be the Tempered Tendril Torch, which will be found in Uber 10 and leviathans right so you're gonna you're gonna have to go into uber 10 leviathan you're gonna have to go to three of them and you're gonna get three tempered tendril uh, i mean three fragile tendril torch and you're gonna craft those three into one right so basically every single week you're gonna have to go to three uber 10 leviathans craft that epic banner because it's gonna give you 900 life right if you're lucky in a leviathan you'll actually be able to get those that are permanent which will grant you 825 light which i don't have yet because you know as usual my rng is just pretty trashy and you know we're gonna head on over into geo top side and i'm gonna show you what you can do with those so-called permanent torches right you can actually get more than 900 light on these torches i'm not saying that over 10 leviathan weekly torch is the best but it's gonna be the best for you guys who don't actually have the permanent torch just like i do not and you're gonna have to come on over into the sun seekers crystal forge and as you can see there are some enchanted end and shadow torch mods right so as you can see you're gonna need some end shadow tendril torches and blah 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 as you can see 825 lights as you can see it's permanent it's a permanent torch it is definitely really really rare right that i've heard of people who've got through 700 leviathans and have not actually received this permanent uber 10 one right so you're really gonna have to you know pick a couple of these whichever you actually want let's say you really want magical damage you want jump and movement speed or you want this or you know you want this or you know there are so many different types right it's not really that hard to get these banners and you know inner geos are pretty easy to come by as you've watched from the other videos that we have on the channel and you know it's it's gonna actually increase your lights i've heard you're gonna get i bet about 1000 light if you actually upgrade this but i'm not really too sure i'm gonna have to check with that anyways you can actually upgrade your permanent um, torches if you already have them and it, it's gonna be insane, right? Because you're gonna just receive 1,000 or close to 1,000 light just by getting a Leviathan torch, which is crazy easy, right? Because you can just, you know, join in, but you're gonna have to, number one, the requirements for Leviathan right now is gonna be 5,000 light because you're gonna have to deal damage to Leviathans to actually be able to open up the chest with a Leviathan key, right? So if you don't have 5,000 light, be sure to work on number one, your Geode rank. Number two, you're gonna get these foods. You're gonna get the ally. It's not gonna be hard to get. You can just farm Delves a little bit and you'll actually be able to receive these. Number three, you're gonna farm your crystal stuff. You're gonna farm your crystal gear. You're gonna upgrade them until they, you have them at max level, right? And then you really wanna head on over and augment all your gems and get all the boosts on light so that you actually be able to maximize your light so other than that it is pretty simple right you don't really have that much to do other than number one your crystal gear number two your food number three ally your banner number five is going to be your june mastery rank and number six but finally the hardest part will be your gems now Bursa battler is definitely the best choice for any class because number one It'll actually increase your light, right? As you can see from the description right here. Damaging enemies causes a frenzied state, adding a small increase to axe pack speed and light. Continued damage to enemies extend the frenzied state until it causes a burst of state, greatly increasing attack speed and light, right? So we're gonna be experimenting this. Um, let's just head over into this five star right here and as you can see right now our light is currently sitting at 8295 we're gonna enter this five star and just see how much light extra that we'll actually get um as you can see we actually increased 8545 lights which is going to be the first tick right there are going to be two different ticks so basically you're gonna increase your lights two times, right? The first time you're gonna increase it by, let's say, 
300 and then the second time you're going to increase it by another 500 i'm going to actually hit 9000 likes um once we actually get that boost because it's not always there but you get the point right so okay um we're, we're stuck at 8.5k right now I don't think I can actually show you the um, the 9,000 light because they don't actually always show, but you get the point, right? You get the point of why this Berserk Battler is so OP because you can actually get extra light from this and deal extra damage to the Vitans and as well as Delves. Um, I don't know why, but this chest isn't opening. Um, can you open, please? But anyways, you get the point. Oh, the lag, though, the lag. Come on, Trove. But anyways, I guess that is going to be all about how you should get lights and how you should, you know, make the most out of farming for lights. And I guess that is going to be it. I hope you guys are going to have a fun time in Delves because as long as you've got the lights, Delves are definitely pretty awesome to come by. And it's pretty amazing, right? It's pretty amazing how the developers have actually um, improved. So-called improved. I'm not really going to say much about this. This is just a little bit of my opinion, but it's not that it's pretty good, but it's decent, okay? I I'm a, I'm a rated at decent, right? This update was decent, and I hope you guys are going to have fun, you know, farm a little bit of delves, get a little bit of light, and just, you know, true following this um, in-depth guide about lights, and I hope you guys learned something from this video. So don't forget to leave a like as usual, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out.